In this problem, we're given a balanced chemical reaction, and then we're given a data table of different concentrations and different rates, how changing the concentration affects the rate. Part A asks us to write the rate law for the reaction. So we can start with the generic rate law of this reaction. Rate equals K times the concentration of the reactants, NO, times the concentration of the other reactant, Br2. They're going to be raised to some order, which we don't know yet, and we got to find out. So we'll start by finding the order of NO. To find the order of NO, we need to choose two experiments in which the concentration of NO changes while the concentration of Br2 stays the same. So that'll be experiment one and two. You can see that the NO concentration changes while the Br2 concentration stays the same. How does the concentration of NO change? Well, it doubles. It went from 0 0.02 to 0 0.04, so that doubles. And then we can see how the rate changes. And the rate, the rate increases roughly about four times. And to determine that, you can just take the larger number, the final number, and divide it by the initial number, and that comes out to be roughly around four. So since the concentration is doubling and the rate's changing by factor four, that's going to be second order. Um, you can do this two to change the concentration rates to some unknown order equals the change in rate, and so then that must be a power of two. Now let's determine the order of Br2. We're going to choose two trials in which the concentration of Br2 changes and the concentration of NO stays the same. And that'll be tr trial one and three, experiment one and three. So you can see that the NO is staying the same while the Br2 is changing. The Br2 here is doubling, and we're going to see how the rate changes. So the rate is, it's also approximately doubling. Again, to do that, you can just take the final number divided by the original number. And so then 2 raised to y power equals 2. So that means y equals 1. That means that Br2 is going to be first order. So we can leave this as a 1, or we can also just remove that. Both are fine. That's the answer for A, writing the rate law for the reaction. B, we have to calculate the rate constant, which is k, for the reaction. And then we also have to include the units. To do that, we can just choose any of the experiments and plug in the concentration and the rate into the rate law, and then the solve for k. So I'm, just, I'm going to use experiment one. After we plug in the numbers, this is what we get. Notice that I transferred the orders down, and then we just use algebra to solve for k. So we can just divide both sides by 0 0.02 squared and divide both sides by 0 0.02. And then that will give us a k value of 12,000. 12, the units of k will equal, it will equal molarity raised to the one minus total order times whatever the time component is to the negative one. So the total order here is three. So you just do molarity one minus three, you'll get molarity molarity to the negative two. And then the time is seconds. So this will be seconds to the negative one. And then part C in, asks us in experiment two, what is the what was the concentration NO when half the amount of Br2 was consumed? So we're going to look at experiment two. So we're going to look. Originally, the concentration of, B, of Br2 is 0 0.02. If you have that, then it goes to 0 0.01. So that means that the change in concentration of the Br2 is equal to 0 0.01. Um, it decreased by 0 0.01. To figure out how much the NO change, we just use the mole to mole ratio. So you can see that there's two NOs for every one Br2. So then you can multiply this by 2 over 1. Or you can think like 2NO for 1Br2. Um, so that means that the change in concentration of the NO should be negative 0 0.02. And if we start at 0 0.04, we can subtract the 0 0.02. That means the final concentration will be 0 0.02 molar. If you're taking AP Chemistry and you just need that extra boost to get over the hump, or you need a lot of help catching up in the class, then you need to check out the resources at apchemistrytutor.com. There you'll find amazing resources, free study tips, and guides that will help you with the class. Check it out. I think you'll find it to be very helpful.